Pokemon Digimon. Hey guys, uh, we're just here to talk to you guys about uh, Digimon Episode 2. Shoutmon's Roar. Uh huh. It's. Uh, I don't know, this episode was very interesting to me. Uh, definitely more laid back, uh, more of a reason. This episode was more of a why does Shoutmon want to become Digimon King kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I guess, but the, the the pacing seems a bit... I don't know what it is, like, for the English version, because you showed me the uh, Japanese version uh, just a while ago. Uh, for the English version, the, the pacing seemed a little too quick. And tried to stay the more comedic route. Yeah. And so, it, it just kind of bothered me. Another thing that I didn't like was the fact that, you know, this doesn't really further the story any... I mean, it kind of does, but I... It, I don't know, it was very weird. But yeah, there's Cumon, and then there's Drovolamon, and he, like I said, he's a dick in the... Fuck everybody. <laughs> but yeah, he just kind of shows up, he's kind of a dick to them at first, and then he just kind of leaves. But as you saw in the, actually in the vision, the dream in the first episode, mm -hmm. he's there. He's part of, part of Crossheart. Another thing to explain, um, when you hear me say stuff like that, it's because the show, when they decide their armies. The guy with the blue Digivice is um, uh, Blue Flare and Mikey's team is supposed to be Cross Heart because it's called the Cross Wars. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to change it or if they're going to keep it the same. I don't think they would. But it, it's more of like a, of a cross your heart kind of thing and hope mm -hmm. to die. It's more like of keeping a promise kind of thing. So that's, mm -hmm. that's why I thought the name was pretty interesting for them. And I like the name Cross Heart. So. Yeah. Um, but the, I'm sure they'll change it because it's fusion now. And, I don't uh, think they will, though. Right. Uh, unless they just take something completely out of left field. Right. And put it, put it as a name. But I don't think they'll do that. To say for the episode, you, as you saw, you know, Mikey was more... He thought becoming Digimon King is is just a little thing. It's not really anything that's affecting too badly. Mm -hmm. um, but then he realizes, you know... Like, in the scene in the American version here, you notice that uh, it, they kind of make it kind of comedic. Mm -hmm. And it, it was never meant to be like that. And in the, as I showed him in the Japanese, it was more sentimental. They even played more yeah. sentimental music. And yeah, yeah. Shotman's actually hurt and he's calling them jerks and telling them to go die and just pissed all in general. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the, the episode kind of lost me because the, the pacing really did kind of feel off because they went for a lot of really weird jokes and it just every opportunity they would make some sort of joke. And it just seemed like it didn't fit the scene. I understood the plot, like what, like how everybody made like a character change and everything, but the whole comedic, you know, after everything dramatic would happen, they would make a joke and it would kind of ruin the moment. Right. So when you compare it like to the American version to the Japanese version, which one did you like better after after watching? I I have to say I like the Japanese better, I mean, because the the tone seems like it again because the tone wasn't a very jokey like the American version. The pacing seemed very grounded and consistent, and the characters looked very hurt by him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, and I I love that about watching the the, the Japanese version just because. It doesn't focus around kids. It focuses more around general teenagers and uh, adults. Because mm -hmm. Japan, that all, all those kind of people watch anime and stuff. It's not just one person. Mm -hmm. And I love the music, like I said, when they put it in. Because in the Japanese, there is a very sentimental tone in there. And they play so very sad music during that part. Mm -hmm. You know, to make Shotman seem like he's genuinely hurt by this. Yeah. And you know the message comes across okay in the uh, in the dub version. It just you know it, it's not consistent, and so it doesn't make it, it. There's no flow, basically. It's just that you know joke, 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 dramatic moment, joke, 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 fight scene, joke, 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 and and so see that's what I'm saying. When the show gets more dark, I don't want to hear a joke right after it. I want to. Uh -huh. So I, want it to be, okay. I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. You, mm -hmm. you see what I'm getting at now, though, yeah. when I say I'm worried about the dub version. Yeah. Because this is what I mean by when... It, when I think, though, started. that they, they just want to create that, that funny tone so that when they go hardcore dark, that... 
You know, because I mean, you see, you see Nene now, the girl mm -hmm. with the little pigtails. Mm -hmm. Um, she, she's a lot darker than what you're seeing now. She becomes a lot darker, and I'll mm -hmm. say that now. Okay. And and the guy, Blue Flare, uh, I forget his name. I still haven't looked that up. That's gonna get to mm -hmm. me. Um, his character is kind of dark in his own way. He's very different, and. As you can see, his Greymon's much different too. Yeah, because Greymon. I was confused about that. I was like, okay, Greymon, what? <laughs> they, yeah. They, they showed him. They showed him uh, do it during the the cross. I'll say that with Mel Bergamon. Yeah. I know what the cross form is, and it's it's actually has a name instead of two cross two. Uh -huh. So it's actually pretty cool once people get to see it. Like I said, most people will be like, oh, I love that. It's awesome. And then you're gonna come down and be like. Whoa. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> it's not. It's not what it used to be. Is what I'll say. Hmm. And that's and that's what I, I I liked it and then I didn't like it and yeah and I love him and his character and Greymon is actually the core for his Digicross loader. Hmm. And so it's blue. Yeah, but um, to explain that, uh, if anybody's read the manga series or anything like that, uh, Greymon's. Um, Depending on who's the trainer and where they've grown up, they look different. Um, in one season, in one manga series that I got, this guy was a hardcore Digimon trainer. He was very um, about it, tough guy. Mm -hmm. So his Greymon looked more dinosaur-like, like horrific horns and huh. everything everywhere, like huge. And then this other guy who had a Digi uh, Greymon, he was more like the original Greymon that we know from the first season, more mm -hmm. cartoony. Right. Uh, and he was actually a lot more powerful. It, it's 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 weird oh. when you think about it. Yeah, it, it is, but it also kind of makes sense. Right. And then if anybody's seen the fifth season with uh, Geo Greymon, that's an entirely different version of a Greymon. Huh. So it actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. You know, it's it's depending on how you raise a Digimon is how their evolutions work. Like huh. when Ty tried to force him to digivolve to Metal Greymon. Oh uh, yeah, the Scroll Greymon moment. Exactly. Yeah. So, this show does center around a lot of stuff. In this episode, uh, I honestly, even for me, it wasn't one of the best episodes to give mm, character. No. Even in, for the Japanese version, it really wasn't. But again, like, e even though I, I say that the the, uh, the humor wasn't needed, the jokes did work. Yeah, for that moment. I'm not going to say that, like, yeah, it, that it wasn't funny. It was funny. But it just, it wasn't, it didn't fit. I'll give I'll give the dub one version one thing. When he throws the dirt at Mad Leomon, he says that we're smarter, and in the Japanese he says because of this. I prefer the we're smarter one. Huh. Nice. Cause it, it's it, uh, I like that better. The line was much more catchier, and I I just thought it was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know Japanese. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Yeah. And uh, and then uh, to finish it off, pretty much the the cross too. As I told you, you won't see the the other version until they get Doruluman uh, mm -hmm. back into the gang, and then they'll go cross three and then cross four. I really do want to see that guy coming back. And yes, and the design just looks way too good to waste. Uh, I know he's going to come back, so and then the, I'm looking forward to that. And then even like as they did you cross more, I notice you, you notice it in the art. The mm -hmm. it come, becomes more detailed too mm -hmm. for the cross forms, nice. and I I loved it a lot and. And the cross two is actually pretty interesting all on its own. Yeah, they they, they call it times two in the in the dub version. Right. So and, sorry, I'm gonna sorry. <laughs> if it's because I say it, it's just because the Japanese version and it's a totally different language. You got you got to remember that this aired back in 2011. So right. You've you've seen this. You you've kind of gotten used to talking like that, which is why you keep you know mm -hmm. didn't you're gonna have to get used to calling Teggy Mikey. Yes. That whole thing. Right, and uh, I'm really confused about that too. Since you showed me that dubbed episode, I gotta say it now. That's I gotta say uh, it now. All right, so far after watching every episode and everything, the only name change that they've done in this entire show is the main human characters. So far, they've changed all. They changed all three of their names. I was right. The female is Arkari, and I don't remember the guy's name still. They didn't say mm -hmm. that entire that entire episode we just watched. Right. But so far, the, all the changes to the main character, they haven't even changed the, the, the freaking Digimon names. I mean, nobody's going to understand Orochimon. Like, <laughs> that's why he's a bunch of snakes. If anybody, if anybody knows what I mean, they, they see Naruto. Huh. I mean, come on. So, it, it's kind of funny when you think about it. Yeah. So, 
I mean, it's it, it. I'm sorry, it's gonna bug me now. They yeah. should have just kept it. I, I, I mean, it, it just it, the reason it bothers me is because of what, what we were given before. Right. Uh, there was no name change, except for a couple of things, maybe in the first season. Right. But that was only because of you know pronunciation more than likely. Mm -hmm. And to talk about some more scenes, really. Um, mm -hmm. You notice in the first scene when he shows him the village, uh, you noticed in the sub version that I showed you, uh, it was a nice quiet scene mm -hmm. as he talked and the visuals, and I'm just mm -hmm. like, and then type, and then Mikey in the dub version cracks a joke, says something to ruin the kind of visual moment, uh -huh. and I, I feel like it kind of takes away from the creator's art style. Mm -hmm. um, personally, me who watches a lo lot of anime, uh, I consider anime its own art, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and they put a lot of detail into some scenes like that, and uh, to, to go ahead and go on Attack on Titan, if anybody's seen the opening, God, that is some beautiful it's, scenery. Yeah, it's just great. And I mean, just to like, have like a moment like that where you see the village and the sun's barely coming yeah. out. But I, I think that, you know, they, they kind of want to keep that same charm that they had with uh, the first two seasons. Because if you actually start to stop and think about it, the the whole storyline is very, you know, adult. Uh, with the whole, you know, they have armies and generals. There's a gun, gonna be a war going on. Although they won't uh, say die yet. They won't say kill. Well, they right? never have said die. I want him to <laughs> say, say it, Dan. But I, it, I'm not, I'm not never even... Had, Saban has never said die, not even in Power Rangers. I like, know. Those people did fucking die. <laughs> 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 I'll give him credit though. Deleted. It's it's a digital world. It's the same. And just just to say, we all know, even in Digimon, even in the sub version, uh, Digimon don't actually die. They're just. Uh, well, I mean, did you watch season three? They kind of died. It was like Highlander, but they kind of died. But I mean, they died in the human world. That's a totally different thing. Hmm. No, it's not. No. I don't want to get into the argument. Oh, you right got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this this year, this episode as a whole, it was mostly of why Shoutmon wanted to become king. Yeah, and I, and I like it. You know, for that that that, that they actually you know, I, I like that Mikey wants to go home because he didn't want he didn't want to drag his friends into this, so he wants to take them back because he wants to protect them. I really like that it's consistent with his character. And I like how Shaman wants to keep him there. I don't like how sitcom-y they make the whole, uh, him that, trying to keep him there. On the Rock Hill thing. Yeah. And yeah. It just, it, it was so cliche and really kind of took away from his character, especially when he was, like, admitting, no, I'll like, never become king. Like, he, he did sound really selfish, which, you know, I, I think what, you're supposed to feel that way because Taiki, or... Now I'm doing it. Damn you. <laughs> because Mikey turns turns his back on him and says, well, you know, that's kind of selfish of you and just walks away. So I think you're supposed to feel like that, but at the same time, it was really, you know, been there, done that. You know what? Me. You know what? Just, just to show it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the scene and I'm going to put it in here right now. The Japanese version, here you go. <laughs> ああ、困ってる。困ってるやつお前は放っておけねえだろ。なあ。放っておけねえぜ。そうだ。それでこそ大気だ。ダメよ、大気。な、なんだよ、当たり前で。上に流されるのがあんたの悪い癖。うるせ
弱いのよか弱いのようるせえ<笑>
quickly paced mess that I, I think I can refer to episode 2 as we're kind of a mess. So hopefully they can get more better flow and the episodes will be better on down the line. We'll just have to see what happens.